Coming up, build a hot air balloon and send it soaring into the sky. Learn the salty secret to preserving food. Make your own mighty electric motor. And find out why this ping pong ball is floating in midair. I think I know how that's done, Dana. Watch this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll find out how it's really done in just a moment. But first, Carrie Ann's about to have a high flying idea too. Rebecca and I need to send an urgent message to Secret Agent Kim. She's trapped in enemy territory. Patrolled by vicious guard dogs. How are we going to get it to her? Hey, Kim! We have a message for you. Rebecca thinks we could fold it into a paper plane. Nah, it'll never fly. You're so full of hot air, Rebecca. Hey, that's it. Using an age-old spy trick, we'll float our message over. Attached to a tissue paper hot air balloon. <laughs> Zach and I are planning a camping trip in the wilderness. Well, my back garden, actually. We have all our equipment ready to go. Now we just need to pack some food supplies. But there's no fridge to keep anything cold in the wilderness. But Zach says he knows how to preserve food, so it doesn't need to be kept cold. He's certainly not much of a cook, so I'm a bit worried about his recipe. Fish? Ew! How are we gonna keep those fresh in the wilderness? They'll stink! And we'll starve! An oven tray with a layer of salt? In go a whole lot of the tiny fishies. Maybe he's gonna cook them. But he's not gonna put them in the oven. He's covering them up with more salt instead. Now we have to leave them there for a few hours. That's one of Mum's big preserving jars. Salt in the bottom. In go a few fish. Now more salt, more fish, and more salt. Once the whole jar is full, he tops it right up with salt and closes the lid up tight. I sure hope my fishy dinner is tasty. Salt draws most of the water out of the cells of the fish. The bacteria that cause foods to go bad need moisture to survive. In a properly salted fish, the bacteria die and the fish stays safe to eat for up to a year. Well, it's been a hard day's hiking in the wilderness and I am starving. Zach, my dinner if you please. Ew! Well, they aren't rotten, but they are a bit salty for me. Good thing I brought my own emergency supplies. <laughs> a strawberry donut is better than a salty old fish. That's what I call being prepared. <laughs> Let's go see how Kerry Ann's getting on as she prepares to send Kimberly a secret message. Our mission, and we've chosen to accept it, is to make a hot air balloon. This tissue paper will be perfect. First, we make a template for the balloon's panels out of brown paper. I'll draw a big leaf shape. Cut the shape out. Unfold it. And we have a balloon panel template. Place it on top of the tissue paper. Pin it down. And start cutting. Unpin the template and... Ta-da! Lots of green and yellow balloon panels. Next, we're going to glue them together. Lay one on top of the other. Make sure you can see the edge of the one underneath. Place glue along the top piece and stick them together. Now for the next layer. This time glue the opposite edge down. Keep going until all eight panels are glued. Next, we'll fold the already glued middle panels out of the way. So we can glue the first and last panels together. Secret agent work is a sticky business. Okay, now to check there's no holes in our balloon. Hmm, we'll need to close this one up. Okay, cut out a circle for the top of the balloon and glue it on. Excellent! Our secret message will be floating over to Kim in no time. Dad's still
still hasn't fixed the motor in our DVD player. I'll show him who the real handyman around here is. I'll build my own electric motor. Now, the first thing I need to do is make a coil of wire. It's copper wire with a plastic coating. I'll wrap the wire around this pipe. Make a nice tight coil, then slide it off. Wrap the two ends around the coil to hold it together. Leave some wire sticking out on each side, like this. I'm scraping the plastic coating off one side of the wire. Make sure half the coating stays intact. I only need to do this on one of the poking out ends. The other end gets its coating removed completely. Time to make a power supply. I straightened out two paper clips. Now I'm attaching one to each end of a big battery. I end up with two metal terminals like this. I'll tape my battery to a plastic stand and get a strong magnet ready to go. It's time to get my motor running. I put the coil into the terminals and give it a little push start. When I hold the magnet here, the coil keeps spinning and spinning. You have to admit, this is way cool. When an electrical current flows from the battery through the wire, it turns the coil into an electromagnet. The magnet in Jordan's hand and the magnetic coil repel each other, so the coil is pushed away. Now here's the clever bit. The half-covered part of the wire interrupts the electrical current in the coil and effectively switches off the electromagnet for a split second. The coil continues to spin with the momentum it has after being pushed away. Each time the wire makes contact, the coil gets another quick shove, which keeps Jordan's motor turning at top speed. I think Dad'll be impressed with my electric motor, but he'll be really impressed if I can install it into the DVD player. <laughs> I hope he knows what he's doing. Jordan is quite a talented inventor, isn't he, Dana? He sure is. But then everyone has a special talent. Just ask Zach. Mom says everyone has a special talent. Ashley's is obviously gymnastics. Wonder what mine is. Maybe it's juggling. Here goes. Whoops. This is harder than it looks. Not just any old clown can juggle, you know. The problem with these balls is they come down so quickly. Juggling would be much easier with a ball that floats in mid-air. And I know how to make one. OK, Mum. Point your hairdryer at the sky like this and set it to cool air. Don't take your eyes off this magic ping-pong ball. Power on, Mum. I carefully place it in the airflow and... Yes! The ball is staying right there. How cool is that? Try tipping the hairdryer over, Mum. See if the ball can handle angled airflow. It does! Brilliant! The fast-moving stream of air flowing out of the hairdryer has enough force to lift the ping-pong ball. The ball becomes trapped between this low-pressure airflow and the surrounding higher-pressure air in the atmosphere. I think I've found my special talent. Who needs juggling when you can do radical gravity-defying ball tricks? La 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 Ah, that's better Nothing beats a nice hot shower Time to floss my teeth Hey, I just wiped the mirror clean And it's fogged again already How can I stop the fog? What if I coat it in something? Like this hair gel Mmm, it's nice and slimy But it makes the mirror blurry that's no good. Maybe toothpaste will keep the mirror shiny. It works for my teeth. Oh, nope. That's just a sticky mess. Hmm, what now? Soap. A bit of a rub, like this. And yes, I can see myself much more clearly in the soapy part. 
The fog on Jade's mirror is made up of millions of tiny water droplets held in a rounded shape by surface tension. If you break that surface tension with a surfactant chemical like soap, the droplets can no longer hold their rounded shape and they spread out into a thin film. Instead of seeing a fog of tiny water droplets, you get a transparent film of water. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the cleverest of them all? I find blowing a hairdryer over the mirror dries up the fog pretty fast. Kerry ann has found another use for a hairdryer. She's using it to fill her hot air balloon. Come on, Mum. Hold the hairdryer under there. Our balloon is filling with hot, hot air. Earlier, we glued a wire circle into the bottom to help keep its shape. And we stuck the top secret message inside. Now the air inside's nice and hot. So we're ready for launch. Wow, it's lifting! Up, up and away! It's cleared the fence! Look at it go! Our secret message is on its way! Hot air is lighter than cooler air because it's less dense. That means the atoms that make up the air are spread further apart. An enclosed pocket of hot air, like Carrie Ann's beautiful balloon, will naturally float upwards through cooler air. As the air inside begins to cool off, it can no longer support the weight of the tissue paper and string the balloon is made from. The secret to keeping a hot air balloon flying is to make sure the air inside stays nice and hot. Our balloon has landed! Read the secret message, Kim! Oh no! Can't she understand the code? Boy, talk about hot air! It's a wonder she doesn't lift off. Well, I don't know about Kimberly, but it is time for us to lift off. Why? Are we full of hot air too? No, silly. We've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.